The Mazda 6 is what I would refer to as a people carrier. It gets you from one point to another with no fuss and no show. Its V4 engine is capable of moving the car along, but not much more. 0 to 60 is accomplished in about 10 seconds. Not surprisingly, it's not a light car per se. Coming in at about 4,200 pounds uh, with only about 184 horsepower to back it up. So not the lightest car in the world, but not a Volvo either. On the looks department, I would say it's good. Enough that you couldn't call this car ugly, but not so much that it's overdone. It's almost elegant, but not snobby. Like your smart aunt that brings you candy when you're a kid. The gas mileage comes in at about 28 miles to the gallon city driving, 38 miles to the gallon highway driving, but a lot of this is dependent on the way you drive and the way that other vehicles drive around you. I know that when I drive the vehicle, it averages a lower mileage per gallon than when my wife drives the vehicle. To be fair to this car, it's not trying to compete with anyone else, it's trying to get you to where you're going, and it does it quite well. The ride is very comfortable and soft. Bumps in the road are noticed, but not obnoxious. Like a downstairs neighbor, you know that they are there, but you never really hear them. All four doors open fully and have plenty of room to get stuff and people into and out of them easily. Whether it's a baby or just a box you bought from the store, all of this is done in comparative ease. The trunk has loads of room for all your wife's belongings and things she can't travel without. There is a spare tire in the trunk and all the tools you'll need for a roadside change of the tire just in case something happens. The back seats even fold down so you can get longer items into your vehicle with more ease. Moving to the interior of the car, we find a modern interior, black and leather being the main colors that we're going to see in here, with chrome being used as an accent piece. Leather is used in some places and plastic in the others. The seats in this vehicle are cloth, but you can get leather in the touring model of this vehicle. The infotainment center is functional, but not earth shattering. The range on the Bluetooth is a bit strange as well. My wife will leave with the car and my phone will hook up to it even if I'm not in the vehicle. That does get a bit annoying when I'm watching Cletus McFarland videos and can't hear the freedom anymore. The seats are very comfortable for long trips. I don't have the greatest back in the world and even I was fine after a nine hour road trip down to Florida with my wife. In the back seat, legroom is at a bit of a premium. It's fine if you're a child or one of your wife's girlfriends, but as a man, it's a bit close for me. Maintenance on this vehicle is easy to do and to keep up with. Oil changes, if you do them yourself, are done in less than 20 minutes. The Mazda 6 takes 5 quarts of 5W30 oil. The only thing that I've found so far to be a pain is to change the cabin air filter. You have to remove the glove box to change it, and it is a pain to get back in. As an overall though, it's a small complaint compared to the overall ease of working on the vehicle. In closing, I'll say that it's a great vehicle as an all-rounder. It doesn't do any one thing great, but it's great at what it's meant to do. It's a daily driver to get good gas mileage and get you from point A to point B. Guys, I hope you liked this vehicle and this vehicle review. Um, if you like this new way of doing it, I'm trying it out for a little bit, just trying to see how it works, just giving you footage of the vehicle and a voiceover without me holding the camera. It, it's a lot steadier and we don't get any wind noise this way. So let me know. Uh, please be, make sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe for more 
car reviews just like this. Have a great day.